Okay guys, I hope this is going to be helpful for you. Uh, problem 5.9. Suppose an ar arithmetic expression is given as a tree and each leaf is an integer and each internal node is one of the standard arithmetical expressions plus minus multiply divide. Give a O of n algorithm for evaluating such an expression where there's n nodes in the tree. Now, let's take a look at this here. I wrote an expression um, here. We have 5 plus the quantity 6 divided by 3 times the quantity 6 divided by 3 minus 7. And these should have parentheses here. To set this up in a tree, we have the multiplication symbol here in, in this internal node, and we have basically the tree built out as it is. It's basically 5 plus the quantity 6 divided by 3 times the quantity 6 divided by 3 minus 7. Same thing. So that gives us the tree we're looking for, or one example of it. Now the question is, how do we write an O of n algorithm to evaluate that expression? or any expression of that form. Imagine that you have a function called eval, E-V-A-L. You could call it anything, but basically the function would, would be a recursive function where you get the node. So that's step one. Step two, if the node is a number leaf, a leaf node with a number in it, then return the number. If the node is a, uh, otherwise, basically if the node is an internal node with an uh, uh, arithmetical uh, operator in it, then return what? Eval left plus eval right. Actually, this should be whatever the operator was, not necessarily plus. So it would be eval operation left, sorry, be eval left operation eval right. That's pretty much it. What's going to happen is, how many times is, is the function eval going to be executed? How many, how many nodes are in this particular tree? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 nodes, so n equals 11. Eval is going to, the first one is going to get this node, so it's going to evaluate it, it's going to execute that program one time, then inside this program it's going to, um, uh, perform these operations. But it's going to only perform it one time on each of these nodes. It never gets the same node twice. It's exactly O of N. Hope that helps.